Okay. Last time I didn't hit the record button. I still got, I still saved it. But, <laughs> ah, I hit it this time. Welcome back to Outer Worlds. The, the Outer Worlds. Um, I think, uh, do, 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 do. we will... We will do this quest. Let's let's uh, go get the parts for the radiator, so that the station's not hot, which is down here. Who's there? Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Can we talk? Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> Time Gross. to feed the flames. It's nothing personal, promise. Oh, yeah. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Hmm. Put that down before you incinerate the entire deck. I was just exploring the ship and stumbled on this level. Let's see if we can persuade him. I know this ain't a toy, neighbor from above. It's a catalyst, just like me. Keep talking. I like the sound of your voice. Cool. I'm here some for some parts. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. He's, he's. Those parts are like, oh. Could bribe him. Feel like, let's see if I can. Tribute it is. And ain't this just a royal sum? Uh, don't we need those bits, Captain? To buy the key from the lady? The principles of the universe dictate that sometimes we must appease others to keep from being roasted alive. You true. got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. Thanks. Is there something? Lay it on me, boss. I'm good for it. How did she end up? Ship got impounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. And my baby got sold to Sublight. Scrap for parts. That's That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. Am I your dark reflection? Shit. Must be getting old. Stay here too long, and the groundbreaker drains you like a fuel tank. You can come and go in my little kingdom. Just try not to piss off any of the gestures. Oh, he's such a lovely person. Meanwhile, can I can I take can I take since? Yep, I'll just take his stuff. As long as it says I'm not stealing, we should be okay. Armor sure. parts. <gasps> Oops. I didn't want to do that. Okay. No, I don't want you to hold. Even the proverbial unwashed masses would turn their noses up at this place. Uh, we'll yeah. Cut them off. Greg gave me a taste of the good stuff. I've been cutting for days. Careful with that shit. You'll end up as crazy. So you can't take crazy anything crazy out of the cosmos. stuff. Cosmos. Out of the boxes. Did I tell them to hold? How do I unhold? Hi, 
I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. No, you talk... Something vexing you, Captain? Talk too many big words. Stop. I don't want to talk to you. Come on. Okay. I guess talking to one of them. Uh, uh, wait. Oops. <sighs> what the heck? Did I get stuck? Okay. Did you get that automatic patch? My crowd wants it up and running. I'm trying to think of a good name before I wake it up. Don't give it a name. Who do you think? Yeah. Hasn't got a heart. It's not like us. That's up. I don't know where this thing is. It's so cozy. Hmm. Do I have to go down before I go up? Or was there a ladder over here? I don't remember. Oh here look, here's a ladder. Oh, here's some stairs. Maybe I should actually look around. Wake up. There's no such thing as pizza. It's all open face pasta. <laughs> open face pasta. Pizza doesn't have them. Fantastic, we've got them. Now we can move on to cleaner pastures. <laughs> Yo, they really don't like it down here. It's over here. this those power cells so I can take anything off of anybody's robot stuff <sighs> they're just chill my backside still smarts why did everyone get branded when they joined McGregs crew nope your ass is a priceless canvas why are these so shiny I guess I'm honored I don't think I ever came up here before. Oh, there's a person here. Who are you? Can I talk to you? Your aura. No. It's like a disco ball caught in a black hole. Okay. Let's leave. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. I uh, got the parts. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticular infestation. <laughs> Great. Fine, slight. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Great. All right. Well, don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. All right. I figured we'd hang around here and do uh, the the uh, side quest this that we can. We are all molecular machines. The body is a collection of atoms. The mind is a consequence of chemical reactions. You talk too much. Therefore, our lives are predestined along a path that is only is visible in retrospect. Life is fated and unstoppable. I guess it does not. I don't know, Mr. Vicar. That seems like quite a leap. 
The controls are in the back of the machinery shaft area. Keep clear of the radiators. You don't need to kill the Manta Millers, but I'd be mighty grateful if you did. Gee, thanks. Transmission, arrival confirmation, a stern reminder, return to route. Nothing that will, um, Boy, where are you guys? <gasps> what was that? Swarm? What are you guys? Oh boy. That. I don't remember that. them but they will attack you like really woman don't really have a choice I am taking everything that I can down here though Whoa! I burst in the flames. Don't get too close to that. Good news. Song tells me the security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of men. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next. Unexpected. Sneak fast if you can. Security patrol initiated. I can always Oh yeah, sneak past. They're already shooting at me. Bard. What happened to you guys? He went down there by himself, so... I forgot how to. I forgot how to switch my bullets. Uh, I forgot how to like switch. Um... No. Ha! There we go. Y'all 
haven't kept quiet this entire time. It's a little too late, don't you think? Radiators, logs. Okay. The temperatures are dropping. Stop by once you found your way out of there. Groundbreaker owes you thanks. I already got that. Oh wait. Let's not jump down and break our legs. Step lively, Ms. Holcomb. I I'm not winded. I'm honest. My, uh, boot was untied. Would hate for you to get left behind, or architect forbid, become lost. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled... My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Uh, what's it like being in command? You don't have a lot of faith in the board. You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, Nobody bits and power, the and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. You must not like Mount Bedford very much. I like to think of myself as a nice person, but if that gaudy embassy of his was on fire, I might hold my breath a moment before activating the sprinkler system. The board wants control over Groundbreaker, and leeches like Udon Bedford will do anything to please their corporate masters. Okay. You got my attention. Yeah. All right. So we did that. Helped her out. Let's see. Okay, I have to leave the station for the distress signal. I'm gonna leave the station for that. Talk to Jesse. Ellie has been able to get through to Jesse, but you could try. Turn to unreliable. Ask Ada. Locate a security terminal on the groundbreaker. Oh, okay. Let's let's do his little quest thingy. Huh. If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. I've got a fresh ground batch of Spratwurst cooking. Spratwurst. They're terrified to lock in the juices. How about a grinder's dozen? Ooh. Fresh from the grinder, any hour. Let's. <laughs> Yum. Let's see. Will you buy junk? I guess you will. Oh good, I have a bunch of bits. Alright. Salvager. BNP, I can't believe it's not for it. My dad taught me some French, you know. Stuff about omelets and uh Fromage. I could take a look at that journal. By all means. I would be astounded. Yet oh, astronomically in your debt. Oh, yeah. There's nothing at all about eggs and cheese in here. Sorry. Very helpful. Thank you. Oh, I can just take this stuff? <laughs> Oops. Score. 
Okay, that's barred. Open. What is this? Oh, okay. I need to get into there. I think, hold on, let me save. I think it automatically disguises me. Yes. Okay. Holographic designs activated. Your holographic shroud has activated, giving you temporary access to this restricted area. Moving drains the shroud's energy. When it runs out, personnel will see and interrogate you. Talk your way out of the interrogation or reset your shroud. It will get harder to talk your way out the more you are interrogated. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, where's the thing? Great work. There it is. Just you check docking records, which is what we need. Remember the data cartridge from the terminal, because he needs to find that guy. All right. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Yeah, well, you used up all of my pit lock picks for that. All right. Was it worth it? Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit card he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? You're hesitant. Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding them. Was a bit of a long shot, yep. wasn't it? Yep, sounds sus to me too. <laughs> How are you doing today? I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Right, Vicar. Okay. Oops. Did not press the wrong buttons. So then we'll track down that guy. Um, talk to this person. I had a question about your plan, Mr. Vicar. Of course. The cosmos is generated well also, and directed by the universal equation, also known as the grand plan. By contemplating the teleological order of things, one can achieve verity. Oh, um, uh, right. You had a question? Oh, never mind. That about to take that out. Uh, oh, am I, um, I think we can do the restricted area thing. Oh, but I need... I don't think I have a, um... Disguise for this area. Oh! There it is. No. Okay. You're sure this is perfectly safe? I'd rather not die early of an infectious disease. What? Me. Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful, sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Doesn't sound sick. <laughs> Open the door before I kick it down. Should've known she'd send a bruiser after me. 
Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. Uh, let's see. What did you do? I got you in trouble. Ellie asked me to help you, so that's what I plan to do. Oh, I don't want to tell her that we're kind of... What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. You think the board has something new to follow you? You're not hiding, and you're not, and you're hiding it away. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one, assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. And so you stole it. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the Med Bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udon's deposit I'd spent. Ellie asked me to help you, so that's what Udon I'm Bedford's to do. the board guy on the station. Yeah, he'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. I'll talk to him. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Alright, let's cheese it out of here before my disguise goes off. How do you do? Ah, how might I assist you? Uh, I'm here about Jessie Doyle. I want her debt settled. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory <laughs> donation is quite legal in such cases. <laughs> She's worth more alive than dead. Put her under an indenture contract. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not paying her debt That's off. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? Uh, she's hiding in the sick bay to avoid assassins. I'm sure she'll prefer work. You might be surprised, but we'll proceed on the assumption she'll be reasonable. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Uh, okay. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right. That's nice, too. Got word from Udom, from the hitman who trailed me the other night. Seems I'm indentured to the board now. You're I ain't welcome. too elated about going exclusive, but it's better than winding up dead. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. Okay. 
The good news you. came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Yeah, sounds good. You're willing to work for me just because I helped Jesse? You really don't like Owen people. It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. <laughs> that is pretty good. That is pretty good. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorite she's captain. A, yeah. <laughs> she sounds like she's a, yeah, basically shadow runner. Uh, yeah, just meet traveling me on the in ship. style, are we? I'll be sure to nab a cabin with a view. Dr. Fenhill, glad you opted to join us. It'll be good to have a sawbones on the crew. Let's see. I should have enough stuff. Let's put some more in. Oh, I didn't upgrade last time at all um I locked her. I don't know I think I could later on I can put it in individual ones but let's get better in guns Dialogue, because I do like to talk my way out of stuff. Uh, and leadership. Sounds good. Location. You have unlocked the location hit effect for tactical time dilation. Hitting enemies in different locations during time dilation maims and cripples those body parts. Try different locations. Okay, sounds good. Wrong spot. Uh, let's see what else. Fifty percent XP from companion kills. That's nice. Unlock the ability to fast travel when uncumbered. That's nice too. Recharge rate. I want all of it. Uh, science weapons. Not encumbered yet. I'm pretty sure that's gonna come in <laughs> later. Uh, let's let's get some more of that. Okay, so return to the unreliable. Ask. Let's go ask Ada about Sam. Most of the stuff is on the ship, so let's go back. Now that I can leave the station. Who wants to play an impromptu toss ball match? No one? Maybe? Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? My cargo's worth a lot of money. Well, you probably. What's this? Oh, I don't want to steal anything. Although nobody's around, so they probably wouldn't even notice. Oh, hey, you got a second? What? Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Oh, <laughs> really? Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Oh, okay. All right, Felix. Why should I hire you? You're serious. You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. Hey there. I'm Felix Millstone. 
I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. <laughs> yeah, it's a second draft. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Sure, come on. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. See you on the ship. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is going to be great. Really? We're picking up strays now? Oh, vicar, hush. Look at that. A real vicar. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get along like a church on fire. I didn't even notice that before somebody <laughs> somebody wrote the unreliable oh my gosh Ooh. welcome back captain how can i be of assistance uh know anything about the automatic gathering dust auto mechanical gathering dust in the janitor's closet the unit is a cleaning sam Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it, but I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Okay, sounds good. Uh, let's see. P we picked up a distress yes, call. Captain. Beginning playback now. Yes. There's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no, 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 no. Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Okay. Uh, okay Take talk care. To, talk I require a functioning captain to run the ship. Um, what else? Investigate the stress call. Search the secrets of Roseway, which I have to go there for that one. Uh, return to the one. Ask Parve about. Parvati. I don't know why I called her Parve. Okay. Vicar Matt. Okay, we'll go talk to her about the. <gasps> Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Why Who keeps ordering these? Why do I have this one? <laughs> what is this? Why do I have a cow on my ship? Oh boy. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? So, June Lay and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Oh, Law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady. Mm -hmm. It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. 
I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Nerves, everybody's different, don't worry about it. That's the sort of thing. You're so sweet, though. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Junlei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking. Isabel. Who's. Who's Isabel? They were close, Captain. Like more than friends close. Uh oh. Not anymore? I don't know. June Lay talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost hope? Uh, good idea. <laughs> drinks solve everything. If that's what you want, next time we hit the groundbreaker, drinks are on me. Thanks, Captain. I'll be ready. Alright, I want to know why I have cows in here that weren't there before. Um, I don't remember there ever being cows in this ship. <laughs> Oh uh, boy. Let's, let's go back down. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go see what they have on my terminal. Terminal. Uh, recent message lists. Uh, Junie Thompson, Parvati. I don't do this ever. So here it goes. Oh, I get everybody's? I don't remember everybody's um, messages for me. Talking about old friends. You know, I got to think about Isabel. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what she was thinking. We were a mess. And a good mess, but a mess. I'm better than I was then. Wanted you to know when I drink too much of the old family recipe. Oops, wrong button. For Alex Hawthorne. Oh, I forgot to mention in my previous message, silly me, I'm mailing you a copy of my favorite serial, The Space Adventures. I'm still about dashing space, pirate. Okay. Oh, that's from, okay, the old, uh, pilot. Search term Sam. First Sam result. Don't forget, you can, you found a discarded sanitation and maintenance auto mechanical in Emerald Vale's scrap heap during your last job. It should be, it should not be difficult to get it up and running with a few key modifications. I can envision a combat capable variant. Some may say a clean, mean killing machine. Okay. The removal of the factory standards, parts, suds, steeper was successful. Delivery of combat modification requirements, assets steeper. Delayed process. Blah, 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 blah. Not that I have more pressing matters to attend to. Okay. I've given up hope on the delivery. The part is lost in transit. I gotta find an asset steeper. But good news, I heard from a fellow who knows a gal, who knows the broker, who in overcharged me for the information regarding the location of the asset steeper. I can vouch. The part was sent to an old storage facility in Roseway. Everything's in Roseway. I guess that's where we're going. I sure never thought I'd be back to that pit. 
Good thing Anzi abandoned it years ago. I'll pick it up following the next pick stop. Back to the Emerald Vale. Well, okay. Seems like everybody, that's, that's the happening place right now. Um. Anything else I need to do on the ship? Tracking down. Find captain. Okay. Okay. Nothing else with him. Uh, oh, this is her quarters. Okay. Look how cute. Spacer's Choice. <gasps> it's a petunia. Okay. Whose quarters are these? Probably Felix. I had to guess. Maybe. Yeah, that's the Vickers one. This is Ellie's. Okay. I'm not sure where Felix went, but okay. I still want to know why I have cows on my ship, but... I guess we'll figure that out later. Um, oh, there he is. Uh, does Ada know? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Got a minute I to talk. I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. Okay. I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? I guess so. When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. Yeah, I'll just bet they do. Fortunately for you, I am similarly programmed to protect the ship's captain and crew. Okay. Who is that last captain? Do you miss him, or is one captain the same as another? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. Oh. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Okay. Alright, that's, that's it for now. Um, well, let's, she wants a drink. Let's go, let's go give her a drink. Let's bring Ellie. Because Vicar talks too much. To a lost hope. Probably wants to drink. Okay. Hey, that pad down. And then we'll probably make our way to that area that has all the quests. The Lost Hope. So, how's this work? Do we get a table? 
Stand in a corner. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. You're not much of a drinker. Better start slow with a beer. Uh, you're new to the whole loosening up thing. How about wine? If you really want to get drunk, whiskey is effective. Are you sure you want to do this? You seem nervous. Eh, let's start with a beer. Oh, beer. I guess, yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good. I bet. Bottoms up. Think of it like a fizzy tea that's gone a little off. <laughs> ah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? <laughs> oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Generally or specifically, enjoy a drink with your friend. Going on a grand adventure across the sea. Whining. Specifically. Definitely. Definitely specifically. Oh. Oh, why'd I drink that? I mean, just with Junlei. I don't know what to do about us. You just met the woman. Start by telling me why her message got you unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Was she actually right in the message? You haven't said. No one sends terrible, vaguely sensual poetry to someone they don't like. Exactly. Takes a lot of trust to hand over that kind of blackmail material. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I'd call it uh, sensual. That's a lot. Poem implied you calming her with a touch. That's romantic serial grade stuff. She actually. Okay. It did. Oh dear, I hadn't really. Oh my goodness. And I told you? Let's read it right now, just to be sure. <laughs> What's she actually write in the message? You haven't said. I it was go real and read long it. and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad. How a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Alright. Same as before. Maybe you should quit while you're ahead. Let's get you some water. Come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I'm a little woozy. Hydration. Here I come. Aw, this was just about to get fun. <laughs> Shush you. Oh, Captain. I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but... <sighs> I'm so scared. Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we... we get together and... She gets bored of me. Uh, there's an easy way to get answers to all those questions. Oh, there's nothing easy about... about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? Uh, then you go your separate ways. We have that in common, you know. I'm not interested in physical affection either. Are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? Are you afraid of disappointing her? You can't control how people react to you, even people who care about... Uh, let's see, 
Yes, everyone. Of course. Wouldn't you be? Everyone is, no matter their quirks. Huh. I never thought of it that way. I wonder what June's afraid of being rejected for. She seems perfect to me. Maybe those are just my rosish colored goggles talking. To be strong like her. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. Well, we all do. Well, I suppose so, but I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Oh, gosh. I, <laughs> I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Uh, yes. You're still unsure? Yes, just ask her. All right. All right. There's no need to strip your screws over it. <laughs> okay. God. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, <laughs> for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. This was fun. We should do it again after you send that message. Huh. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. All right. Riddles not let's go back to the ship. And we... Let's... You see we had a conveyor pull in? signal Roseway. okay let's just go to Roseway and let's see what's what's going on where is it Orbit above Roseway, Captain. Okay. I need a word. Ah, uh, everybody wants to talk. This Roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call, and whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. Do we know anything about who sent the call? What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. Tough luck for them, but maybe an opportunity for us. Why wouldn't they just call corporate reinforcements? Someone needs help, Ellie. We're going to give it to them. Could be a trap. It could be a trap. With a lot of these companies, the thrashing you take from your boss is worse than whatever a bunch of marauders will do to you. Doesn't exactly encourage calling for aid when there's a fuck up. Okay. I'm counting on it. <laughs> anyway, we might as well take a look out there, see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. Sounds good. Um. So I don't have those cows anymore. What happened to them? Let's see. Let's see if I have any modifications that I can put on anything. I don't even know. I don't even know what I have. On site. Yeah, I'll do this later. Repair. Let's repair everything. 
before I head out. All right, who am I taking? Uh, let's try the new people out. Let's take Ellie and Felix. No security. Not that I'm complaining. Uh, our insert captain is there. Okay. Bending machine. Oh, there's lots of bending machines. Welcome. Ooh, you got some nice armor. Uh, yes, please. <gasps> what is this? Welding goggles? When did I get those? Five? What do I have? One. Three. Jesus. Oh, some enemy thing. Clear, 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 clear the roadway. Ob obst obstru obstruction of commerce is punishable by a fine of no, no, no less than ten, ten, ten thousand bits. Okay. out of his way. Blow everybody up. Oh. Everyone all right? Y'all are crazy. Okay. Let's head into route to the place. Organic, organic materials detected on the Please ensure mechanism tinisms are free of gripper souls. Grab some of this ammo and stuff. I don't remember that thing. I've only played the base game when it first came out. Oh, that plasma cutter. I don't remember that robot being in the um, middle of the. Hey, is that gunfire? Ooh, weapon parts. Tactical shotgun. What do I have? 
sawed off shotgun. This one's better. No, 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 no. I want to replace this with this. I don't know how to do it. Can I take this off? Uh, unequipped. Swap. Swap. No. Wait. Unequip. Why can't I unequip it? Because I'm holding it? Is that why? this pistol okay who are you kind of scared me there i didn't see i don't had enough of this shit i'm just the fucking tarmac guard no one said nothing about fighting no raps okay what happened did you send a distress call Distress call from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Uh, why not? Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happened. Can you tell me who's in charge? Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Okay. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. What happened? Alarms went off. Raps broke loose and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. You said the raps broke loose. Did you have them caged? Um, forget I said anything about that. <laughs> Can you tell me about Wish them? Wish they tasted like sissy pig. <laughs> Them's good eating. Uh. Oh, before okay. I forget. Anti-Cleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. Everybody's a walking advertisement in here. Okay. What's over here? Seventh bar. Okay, well, let's go talk to the. Let's see what's in here. This is the comms, Rosary Communication Room. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? A bit dramatic, huh? No. Did you send a distress call? Uh, yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Uh, under control, that what, that what you call hiding in an abandoned town surrounded by a rat zone. Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. Hmm. Sorry, my phone went off. Uh, maybe not. What happened here? An attack. One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. But why cancel it? My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately, once I'd gathered my wits. The home office can't know what's happening here. Uh, tell me what you're actually doing here, or I will let them know myself. I suppose it can't hurt. If I don't get that research back, my life is over, regardless. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. A dental gel? About One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? Sure. If only... Only if you like me to punch you in the throat, can we just... 
<laughs> Let's punch Very him. Well. We'd formulated the world's most effective appetite suppressant toothpaste. Interesting. You can you can couch it however you want. So push just toothpaste. The diet toothpaste. Not just any diet toothpaste. The ultimate diet toothpaste. Oh my gosh. So what do you need? Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us. Shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Remove the Cretans, retrieve the research, check. You you want I should handle your Rapton problem? Raptodel? Yes, but don't kill the mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. Okay. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson. He's in the old lab. Okay. Who's Jameson? My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. <laughs> oh. I'll find him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. And all you care about is how it affects you. I don't believe their lives mean nothing more to you than paperwork. I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. Hmm. Should I mistake it for compassion? If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. See why people might think you're callous, though, can't you? Uh, all right. No, Believe you're just what you a will. Jerk. But I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. I'll just have to take your word for it. All right. Uh, let's see. Before I leave this place, is there anything else I need to do in here? Any clues? Auto. Lab just down the road south of Rose Bay. Make sure that it is in Rapid Chow. Investigate Rose Bay to find a potential company secrets. It says this guy's already wrapped fodder. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not here to kill you. Oh, you aren't with the outlaws? Who are you then? I'm here to help. Someone sent out a distress call. I check it out. Oh, well, good luck. Now, they got the carbon mess here. It's just a matter. Ah, more simulated. Just put it. Ah, of course, because I didn't. Look, this is. Uh, what does it look doing? like? I'm preparing a personal defense device, or trying to, anyway. If you run a wire from the capacitor there, you can bypass the circuit and save a little power. I... why yes, I suppose I could. Thanks. Uh, need a hand? No, uh, well, yes, well, no, perhaps. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. Sure. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Uh, no. 
blast. Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. Thanks. Okay. Where else do I need to go before leaving this place? What is this? The seventh bar. The ventilation shaft runs from the bottom of the lab to the Hey boss, can we get some Rizzos? What? Top of the hill's rafted on territory. Stay down. You picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine, really. Okay. Where were you when the outlaws attacked? Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to work. No job's worth dying for. You're dedicated to your work. You look nervous. What? <laughs> uh, I mean, we're surrounded by hungry raptodons. Who wouldn't be? Am I right? Eh. Look, I don't want to go back out there, but there's a thing I gotta do. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? Uh, we're likely headed that way. Anything we can do. I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have, um, benefits. Whoa, slow down. Benefits? In certain social situations. Personal situations. Where you might want to, um, oh. enhance your charisma. Oh, for... He's making an raptured captain an aphrodisiac. Wrapped musk <laughs> is the main ingredient. What? No. I mean... Yes, I'm getting the Nothing. musk. With Monarch Embargo, the price is sky high. But I'm not making the drug. Uh, yeah, I really don't know what to know anymore. Cut to the chase. <laughs> Does it work? The results are outside the margin of error. Technically. Okay. Sure. Of course. Our lab's south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab. The one past that, built into the mountainside. Second lab down the road, and then when I get there... My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself, dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. Okay. I keep an eye out. Do I need to get a code for the door? No, I mean... Eh. <laughs> in fact, don't mention this to Dr. Crane. At all. Uh, okay. Great! Uh, this is really gonna save my ass. You're right. Let's see, is there anything else in here? Let's see. Uh, da -da -da. No, that's for Monarch. Uh, I don't know where that's at. So, hoping to score some free samples? <laughs> I've stayed in worse. Chickens? Look at those chickens. Can't talk to them. I told you, you're staying put. You're not listening. We can stop this. I have to go off-roading if I want to go get those parts for that robot. So let's see what else is I have along the way. Um, eliminate the outlaws, deal with their raptors. 
deal with the abandoned experiment. Anticlear storage facility can be found by leaving Roseway via the south entrance. Auto send generator. Where's that? Oh, it's in the same spot where those things are. Okay. What is this one? Anton sent James son to Aunt Cleo's biolize. Let's okay, let's go there since that's kinda right there. Let's see what happens. Too much. A lot of shotgun shells. Think we'll find any freakish experiments locked away in there? This key, that's useful. armor. What do I have on? I think it's probably about the same. Yep. What is this? Patch? Give me that. Lift lock down hallway door. That's nice. Unlocked. Take it. There we go. <gasps> <gasps> ah! Uh. You made cute security actions. Are you nice? Jackass is nope, 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 nope. You're not nice. <laughs> about those little boxes that you can shoot to um, explode things. <sighs> I know there's an upstairs, but I want to see what's over here first.
Okay. Oops. Robin. Okay. Sorry, I won't. Oop, didn't want to take that, but that's alright. Pick up medical journals? I don't know, I'll probably need that for something else. Go upstairs. All right, pushing up. Experimental notes. Rapid fluid intercept procedure test results. I don't know what I should. some armor just in case I need to uh, repair mine. <sighs> oh, that doesn't make you nauseous at all. Looking at that picture. Okay. Help! Let's take that from what shuts him up first. A hungry rat or my backhand? Mm -hmm. What? How the hell did you get in here? Uh, first I shot the raptors and then I walked up the stairs and... No, not... The... I don't care about the beasts. I care about the front door. This is an egregious breach of protocol. How'd you get in? I just saved you, and you're worried about how I got into the building? Uh, truth be told, the raptors did most of the work on the door. Not sure how they know what a lock is. Damnable beasts. At least I'm not trapped here anymore. I'll see you back at town. <sighs> Ungrateful. Why are people so rude in games? <sighs> the NPCs are so rude. What is this? Pick up blue, purple berry. Okay. Okay. enough to open that. Okay. I guess I'm done in there. I 
right, let's research data from the crane's office. Yeah, that's all the way over there. Okay, let's make our way. Am I going? Let's see. Let's make sure I'm going in the right direction. I am. I'm just kind of. I uh, will cut through here. pretty this view is. Okay. It's so colorful. This game is so pretty and colorful. just kind of came from the back, I uh, guess. Can I switch? Take him down. Oh, that's a lot. I did not see all those little, those little tidbits. All those <laughs> people. Cover. Ah. 
Oh, yeah, I am hurt. Um, switch your weapon. Switch. this they didn't even help anybody didn't even like move Lillian keep them hands where I can see them okay. what are you doing out here I could ask you the same I'm doing what I'm paid for and not a bit beyond that name's Lillian lady named Cass hired my crew as gun hands I got left here to watch for Cleo reinforcements they all got pinned inside, so I can't say as I mind. Uh, so why are we having this conversation instead of a shootout? What job are you working? I'm sweaty. I got clawed by one of them monsters. I've been in the dirt all day, and I, I got bugs in places you don't need to know about. I'm on a fucking break. <laughs> got a smoke? Uh. Sure. Thanks, sister. Don't mind me asking, but I ain't telling. You want details? Go talk at Miss High and Mighty What's-Her-Name. She's in the labs, pinned down. Okay. Yeah, Cassandra so O'Malley. We mostly call her Cass, because Cassandra just sounds fancy. <laughs> Definitely got something large and uncomfortably shaped up her nethers. Yammering on about rights and privileges and what all. I'm like, lady, just sing out when you want something shot. Leastways, her pamphlets make good kindling. So, can I leave? Hey, I ain't inclined to stop you. Stay clear of my team's business. We'll get along fine. Okay. Do I go in this way or do I go in the other way? Let's see what's over here. Before I go in there. Look at this place. Like some kind of tomb. The real covert labs don't gotta advertise it. Okay, I guess I'll go in this way. Tactical shotgun. What, um, what do I have? I also have a tactical shotgun. Okay. Three. Okay. But mine is about to break. Or it needs repair or something. Oh, give me this. Order. Who the you? Yeah, you get over here. What? You care to explain what you're doing here? Did you miss the big sign outside? <sighs> Anton sent me to help. That I am. Name's Porter. If Doc Crane did send you, I'd be glad for the help. Bad news is we haven't been able to clean these outlaws out of the lab. Good news is they haven't been able to escape neither. 
was a stalemate. For now, I reckon they got no backup. On the other hand, we don't neither. And our mechanicals all went haywire for some damn reason. Damn mechanicals have always been more trouble than they're worth. Let's see, so how are you holding the attackers down in places that must be at more of an exit? What exactly do you do here? The garage and the front door are it. These bastards got in through the vent system, but we locked that down. Okay. They're not getting back out that way without a security key card. They need to take mine. Or make a new one in my office, I guess. Uh, can I work enough on your Why office? Why you want to know that? I need a security key card. <laughs> I want to be sure it's secure. You said that I could make a card. One there. level down across from the cafeteria. But I locked it up, and I got the only key card. To get in, they'd have to blow it. We'd hear. Okay. So you're sure that they don't have any... Organized crew like this, they probably got somebody to do that. You got a point. Better to be safe than shot in the back. Who, well. oh, me? Or you mean the lab in general? I'm in charge of site safety engineering. Most days that means making sure folks don't run in the halls. Most days there ain't nothing to hear but wind, bugs, and the buildings falling slowly to pieces. Okay. So I guess you're not gonna give me a key card. Can I take this? Just getting started.
crossbar cards. Uh, light machine gun. Are you gonna bust it down or jimmy the lock? This is his office. Uh, the safe has been forcibly open. It contains tossed about hazardous ha haphazardly. The remaining notes refer to various aborted projects, and its prize research is nowhere to be found. Scorched marks along the rim suggest that the work of unspecified thieves, outlaws, most likely made off with his work. Of course, it's been ransacked already. Safe before something happens. Eliminate the outlaws. Me. Over here! What? Oh, good. You're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. Well... I've never met anyone named Crane, and Anton wants a problem fix. I imagine he means you. Yes, I imagine he does. But we all have problems. It is the human condition. I am myself ensnared in this wretched place. You want to kill me. I don't want to die. Therefore, it is in my best interest to negotiate with you. Okay. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for my life. 
Let's see, tell me what you need. We're not friends. If you expect me to help you, I expect you to hand over the research. You're asking a great deal from me. This research is my only bargaining chip. Mm. Then I suggest you hurry up and make your case. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Cleo Security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay, but you'd have to clear out the rafts for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. Anton was worried about you made off with this research. I've never uh, even called you Cretan. About the pay play errand girl to some pompous bandit. I'm gonna need a good reason. Because Crane is a tool. Because no good deed goes unrewarded. Because doing me a good turn is the honorable and decent thing. Take your pick. Hmm. Why do you think Anton is a tool? Crane is being used by Auntie Cleo. And now he is trying to use you. So what does that make you? Touche. Not trapped in an underground laboratory with my... <laughs> Fair. But while I may be trapped for the moment, those scientists are trapped in corporate slavery for the rest of their sad, sorry little lives. Don't you see? I am setting these people free. I am doing them a favor. Won't you do me one in return? All right, I'll help you. You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, no. I'm in your debt. I failed to get his research. On my honor, you will be well rewarded. Oh, well. What if I get myself into? What will I get myself into if I help you out? Nothing beyond the purview of a talented freelancer like you. I can talk to the guards into leaving, but your people have to let them pass. You really expect me to just let them pass? Why? So they can regroup behind their walls and mount another assault? Never mind. I'm obviously in no position to argue with you. If you can talk those guards into standing down, my people will follow suit. There's something else. I'll help however I can. A Raptodon is an apex predator native to the jungles of Monarch. They are entirely unsuited to life on Terra too, which may account for their horrible temper and appetite. Okay. Wait here. Take your time. I am, to my chagrin, not going anywhere. Okay. What is this? What? Wrapped on security. Where's the? Pick up sedate. I guarantee the render even more large. Raptor Don's unconscious. Okay, let's take that. Outlaws, security and stuff. Raptodons. Raptodons. Where uh where do I put this? Security console. Alright. Bard. Oh, 
that's out. But where's the... Isn't there a female that I'm supposed to deal with? There's the exit. Why is that barred? Oh, there's the incubation. Odds. Look at that. <laughs> Those idiots got themselves a mama rap to done. Oh, where? Oh. Okay, so. Where the heck am I supposed to go? They're on us. Ah! Uh, okay, so I don't know where the third one is. Can we do that again? Where is... Deal with the experiment as you see fit. Is that in here? Experiment? Reminds me of medical school. Hmm. Complete experiment. Emergency manual. Day. Okay. What is that? Yum. Gain wrapped dot wrapped musk. Oh, okay. Hold on. The mama wrapped dawn. Uh, let's see. I don't want to kill her. Out what this is. Take care of head back to. Da, da, da. Such an entrance passing. Ow. Acquires Anton's research, require weapon plans. Is that what this is? Ah, uh, it's over here. Heads up, boss! Well, I don't cannot use while in combat. Uh, I don't wanna kill her. Get 
Maybe it'll... Stop? That was down! Maybe they'll... Oh, 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 here. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> I was probably too late. She definitely died. Oops. Oops. Okay. You let me eat the outlaw or deal with the security people. Security. Well. I made a big mess of things. So. I'm out that. I'm at that two hour mark. I gotta go get my kids and um, get ready for soccer practice and all that fun stuff. So we are gonna leave it here. I don't know if I'll redo it. I kinda wanted to save the Mama Raptodon, but oh well. I will call it here and um, thanks for stopping by and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.